guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. I'm so sorry for the great delay uh, in last month. I only posted like one video. Um, but you know, because I wasn't that into posting that videos. You know, I lost my, uh, I lost my touch uh, since then. But I am so excited for this video right now because I have just been doing some DIY uh, high important merchandise making and I've got myself a lot of replica wands which is pretty well, the reason i made these wands was uh you know i've always been a big harry potter fan and i love harry potter merchandise but it is quite expensive i mean i really can't afford that stuff like i do have a uh, i have a time turner and i also have a wand but unfortunately that wand broke and i and i'm gonna get a new one i'm gonna get one new wand and I was thinking to get a, um, I know, Horace Lacan's wand because I just like that, uh, that little uh, snail thingy on the end. But anyways, uh, so I decided I'll make it myself, of course. And um, this is very cheap. So I've got Harry's wand, uh, I've got Ron's wand, uh, Hermione's, uh, Deirdre wand, and I've got Voldemort's wand. Um, and you know, this just... It just took me a few chopsticks and uh, some hot glue, which is which is pretty nice. Let us start off with the first wand. Uh, this is Hermione Granger's wand. It is a uh, dragon heart string, I believe. And uh, yeah, this is the first wand that I made. Uh, it's it's mostly a replica. I mean, of course, it's not an exact replica, but uh, so, so you've got this uh, the thing on the top. Uh, instead of the leaves and vines, they just have normal hot glue going throughout it. But I think it looks pretty good, and especially for the first one that I've made, uh, you know, it is very good. It is not, however, my favorite wand. Um, that, that this is not. So yeah, let me. Why don't you show you the second? Guys, uh, this is the second one that I made, and it is Voldemort's U and Phoenix feather. It is not 13 and a half inches though, uh, but I think it's a, uh, I think it's a pretty good replica. Uh, so you can see it's actually my favorite wand. Uh, I've painted the chopstick white in color and then I went ahead and made the stand or uh, the handle out of hot glue. And what I did for this part and this part is I took some paper and I just, uh, you know, stuck it to the hot glue and that worked as a, um, you know, as like a frame. And then I just went and did some hot glue around that. Uh, for the top edges over here, I made two bubbles of hot glue. That's how it is in the movie and that's how Voldemort's wand is. You know, the two things. It's like a knuckle over here. And you know, that's very nice. And the thing is, I have not used this trick before, but I was, you know, watching some videos. And after you put the hot glue, so like, like this was a cylinder basically before, then you can just go ahead and you can carve it out. So you can see I started from here, gone down and come up. So this is how you... Uh, you would do it using the hot glue gun. So you know, let's say, uh, let's say it's hot. Um, then you, what you do is just go like this. And what this will do is uh, that it will melt the glue, and you can uh, easily shape it. And uh, you know, I found that trick very useful. And so yeah. And then what I did is I made these um, these dots thingies that Voldemort won't has uh, using a pen. And then I painted this. So this is actually a combination of three colors. The top is just plain white. This is white mixed with yellow. And this is white mixed with yellow mixed with orange. Uh, you, know, you can't see it so well in the camera. But it does look, uh, I think it looks pretty good. And you also like, you can easily hold it like how Voldemort holds it. And this one guys is Harry's one. And Harry's one is, uh, it was a little bit tough to make because of the, uh, you know, like the wood texture on the back, but I think I got it pretty good. And I actually own one of these, uh, but, I, but I, of course, I broke. Um, now I painted this, of course, brown, and then we have the hot glue. Uh, this I painted a mixture of watercolors and acrylic colors. So this is actually brown watercolor plus brown acrylic color, and that's how it is. And of course, uh, I also have this over here, and I think it's just a pretty cool replica you know it's not too heavy but i think i think you know it works fine it works it works great like you can do all sorts of spell with it blue moss 
Lumos, Lumos. Okay, guys, the next one is Ron's Want. That, that felt weird to say, Ron's Want. Yeah, uh, why don't you actually, guys, uh, go ahead and look up some pictures of these ones, and then you can actually compare them to these and make them by yourselves. You know, uh, for me especially, it was very uh, good to have like a reference picture of while I'm actually doing the hot glue. Now, in this one, his handle actually is quite short, okay, and um, it's like, I don't know, it's like a nut almost, and that is what I've tried to do, you know. Um, over here, I also got this texture over here that I like a lot. And the top, of course, is, I think this might be the, one of my best, or um, one of my most well-made wand after, um, after Walmart's wand. And yeah, this is, it's a quite cool wand, you know, it's like a wand that you can carry out. It doesn't have too much going on, um, but altogether it looks very uh, it looks very, very, very nice. Uh, this is colored a mixture of um, brown, black, and uh, watercolor brown. Okay, and the last and final one, guys, is this. The elder one. And I actually quite like the body of this one. But the colors, I think I could have done a bit uh, better. You know, I think it's just too uh, dark all around. Uh, but you can see that it, I think it looks, it looks very nice. Now it also has these, uh, these runes over here which were there on the, on the original picture. This is my favorite rune, I don't know because it came out the best. This is quite bad and this is fine and stuff like that. But, um, uh, yeah, and then this also has this top handle over here. So what this, um, you know, you, basically what you did is I, um, I took some hot glue and I kept making layers of circles and every layer it went on I would wait for it to dry and the next layer would be larger than the previous one. I think that shape there is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the body is this. Uh, this ending over here is way too abrupt. Uh, I might try to fix it in the future. But... Okay guys, apart from wands, I have also made a golden snitch. Uh, and this is basically a thermocol ball. Uh, I marked out uh, the, the places where the hot glue has to go using a black pen. And I just traced them out and I think it looks fabulous. It just gives it um, another layer of depth. Uh, the wings, I decided to do black. I think black looks quite good. I did not have silver nor did I have gold. Uh, I did have yellow but I think black looks quite nice. And I mean for a DIY uh, snitch, it's quite good. Also, it has these uh, markings that say, I open at the close on the back. I, I'm sure that you guys can do better than me because my handwriting is just so bad. Uh, and it also has the Deathly Hallows symbol in the front. In the front. In the front. Uh, you know, I was just running out of stuff to decorate it, so I just put a Deathly Hallows symbol. Uh, but yeah, and I have I have this rope around it that I can hang, and I've also been hanging it uh, over there on my uh, on my board. And it looks it looks quite good actually. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and uh, comment which uh, which one was your favorite. Again, I've got I've got Hermione's, uh, I've got Harry's. I've got the Elder Wand, Voldemort, and Ron's Wand. So go ahead, tell me uh, which is your favorite. And make sure that you make these wands yourself. Because they are so cheap. You just require a top stick. And it just requires a hot glue. And they turn out so good. You know, I like these miniature wands. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.